Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the Canon and HP printheads. These are thermal printheads. Uh, they almost look identical. So they're going to clean it basically the same way. Now what happens to these printheads, they're a thermal printhead. And if they're not used or, it's, or the printer's not set for best printing all the time, these little nozzles can clog up, especially if you're not using it. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the little gasket from the printhead. Like I said, the HP and Canon are basically identical. Now, what you want to do is get a little cup of hot water, sit the chemical in it. The other thing you want to do is get a can of this little air. I'll show you how that's going to work. That's going to help flush out that printhead. I also have a little cup or lid where I can sit the printhead in and let it soak for a while. You probably need a pair of needle o's so you can go in and take those gaskets out. Okay, just took out all the gaskets. The reason why I'm taking them out, I don't want them to go down the drain when I take it to the sink to clean it out. So it's wise to take them out. There again, the HP, the can of printheads are the same. Now once the chemical is warmed up in the little tray and a little bit on the micro screens, I'll let it soak there for a while, maybe a half hour. Now the only time you have to do this if you don't use the printer a lot or you don't set your uh, printing to quality printing, then these nozzles can clog up. Now once I'm completed with this, I'll take it over to the sink. I'll be able to use this can of air to really flush out those. Now I'll take the print head over to the sink after I let that soak for about a half hour. And then I'm going to use the air to blow through the micro screens to clean out those micro screens in the top. Then I'm going to dry it off really good. You want to make sure that's real nice and dry before you put it back in the printer. Now you can save the cleaner in another bottle and use it over again. You don't have to discard it. You can at least get a couple of uses out of it. But don't pour it back in the new bottle. Okay, now I got some newspaper down on the bottom of the sink. I'm going to turn on the hot water, get it as hot as I can. The reason why I do that is the newspaper so I don't damage the bottom. Now I'm going to let that water run, that hot, hot water. If it's too hot, hold it with something. But you want it as hot as you can. And then as, as I do that, I'm going to blow the air through the nozzle. The water again. Keep running that water through it. That'll clean it out. Now remember, take out those gaskets. You don't want to lose any down the drain. Flush it out again. Get that air. Now, when you don't see any more ink coming out, that means you're done. Okay, now I cleaned out that print head. I'm going to dry it. Also, clean the gaskets. Now, you, when you took them out, you got to pay attention to how they go back in, because there's two sides. So make sure you made a note how to put them back in. But basically, one side is not flat. That's the side that goes back in facing up for the cartridges. Get it right and you can lay it down in there. After you dry it off, then you can put them back in there. Okay, now I clean the printhead. Now our printhead cleaner will not damage or hurt the printhead. And putting this in the water will not damage the printhead, providing you dry it off real good before putting it back in the printer. When you put it back in, do a couple of deep cleanings to reprime the printhead back up. 
So you can go to our website and buy our professional cleaning solution that we've used for years to clean out printheads. Here again, you can use it for the HP or the Canon printheads that are removable.